Thank you very much, too. Thanks. Uh, uh, thank you very much for having me here tonight. Um, I'm Larry Farnese. I'm the candidate for state representative. I mean, state senate. <laughs> people may know that my uh, campaign ran on a uh, shoestring budget. Uh, all you have to do, I want to come up here tonight. I wanted to really sort of make some jokes about uh, my campaign office until I realized, after looking around the room, that nobody ever saw it. So, I can tell you that we had more mice than staff members. We also had a little problem with the lighting, too. Uh, but I kept calling electricians to come fix it, but for some reason, they never called me back. Yeah. But, no, but seriously, though, seriously, the holes in, my, uh, in the floor were actually bigger than a campaign debt that I incurred. But it's actually much, much better than my campaign office in 2006, which consisted of four tires and a steering wheel. You know, my campaign office was really so bad. One day my mom came in, she got stuck in the bathroom, and I cut my campaign staff in half. My mom is, you know, well, she killed me, she was here. Uh, if anybody knows my mom, or imagine she's called, you know, she's, she's a little, little claustrophobic. She can't even ride in a Mini Cooper. But, uh, you know, I had an opportunity this summer to spend a couple of days with my mom, and I realized she actually has a pill for everything. In fact, if you take a look at her purse, it looks like an inventory of Rite Aid. Uh, at least you have some of you know, But, no, in all, in all seriousness, though, though um, people, you know, the senior citizens in the district really came out big for me. Uh, if it wasn't, you know, we had so much gray hair in my campaign, um, it was actually more than me. So I started using uh, Just For Men. And Bob Warner, that was for you, for the audience tonight. <laughs> I was gonna actually take a shot at my opponent tonight, but I realized, I realized it's probably packing. So instead, I figured I would end up with a little poem here. I'll go through it as fast as I can. For filling holes, there is no fright, like going on stage for comedy night. I'd rather face 10 electricians than be standing here in this position. Surely there's some better way to raise money than asking guys like us to be funny. We can talk budgets and rail against graft, but we don't know how to make people laugh. Still we show up here every summer praying our challengers look even dumber. <laughs> doing, doing our best to make you chuckle, all the time hoping our knees don't buckle. So please be kind and give us applause. We may not be funny, but it's all for a good cause. <laughs>